Hello, Brent here with Artcourt Labs, here with a quick demo of the Podium app. In this video, we will showcase one of our favorite log files, the, uh, the sample log file we use for Sonoma Raceway. We use this data for uh, testing the features of the app because it has it's a short log file, but it has a wealth of information from a actually from an E46 BMW. So we have a number of copies of this live stream demo data uh, uploaded in Podium, and you can find that if you want to go in and check it out yourself. Go into Tracks and search for Sonoma Raceway. Select that. And then once you select that track, then you'll see a number of events that were either live streamed or uploaded to Sonoma Raceway. Mixed in with that is one of our uploads, uh, Sonoma Test. Select that here. and for this event, you see three competitors, Chris, Eddie, and Brent. So in this particular case, all three competitors have identical data. We just upload it, upload it multiple times to test the various features of the Podium app. So I'll go ahead and select myself. And once you do that, you're brought to the dashboard view of the Podium app, and you can select one of the laps in a session. Once you do that, you're presented with a line chart and a track map. You can zoom in with the track map. See here I'm, I'm on the desktop version, so I'm using the scroll wheel to, to zoom in back and forth. Uh, for a mobile version, you would just use the pinch zoom with your with two fingers. When you zoom in, then you can get some good detail about the driven line uh, that you've taken. Uh, this dashboard view is called our grouped layout. And you can drag the splitter bar to make one side larger or smaller. And you can also add a gauge to the grouped layout. For example, RPM. And now you can see the RPM for that spot on the track along with speed and position. You can also modify an existing gauge. For example, the line chart, you can go in and see we have speed already selected. You can select throttle position and now you see throttle position alongside of speed and RPM and a position on track. Well, let's say if you don't want this analog gauge, but you want to turn it into something else, maybe a little more interesting, like a scatter plot. You could do X, Y, and then there's your traction circle for the scatter plot. Well, let's say if you want to zoom in a little bit on that, you can change the min max value to, let's say, minus one. plus or minus 1g. And now you've zoomed in on the data. What you can also do is color the data with a, a heat channel. So here we have throttle position. And now you can see where you're applying throttle based on the uh, X and Y g-force. So there's one example of how you can, well actually a few examples on how you can use the scatter plot to, to perform analysis. Another common analysis technique is to use the time gap chart. which lets you compare the difference in time, gain, or loss between 
two labs. And the way you can do that is by selecting a different lap in the session. And then here you can see the time gained or lost across the track. You can see that in some places the, the time is gained and in other places along the track the time is lost. Now with the Podium app what you can do is you can go and bring in another session or even uh, um, another session from the same event or uh, another session from a previous event and you can compare data side by side. So here we have Chris and Brent compared together and you can look at the data side by side between two different users on Podium and see how their laps compare. So this is a powerful way of comparing data with your friends or comparing your own data across different uh, race weekends or any combination. Now what you can also do is add a new dashboard screen. What we were just looking at was the grouped layout. What you can also do is create a freeform layout which lets you create dashboards with any kind of format or layout that you prefer. So here's an RPM gauge. And then let's add a bar graph gauge showing throttle position. And then let's add a line chart so we can scan across our data. And we select speed, drag and resize the line chart. And there's our data over distance. We can get pretty artistic with these layouts. Let's add our scatter plot, X, Y, and Oh, let's color it by speed and then set the, oh, that looks pretty okay, 0 to 100 miles an hour. And we can move that over to the side. And there is your dashboard layout. Now what you can also do is when you're done, you can lock. And then the dashboard screen prevents further edits or movement of the gauges based on mouse or finger positions. So you can just manipulate the data as needed. You can go back and forth between the dashboards using the arrow buttons. And of course you can create and remove dashboards as needed. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this quick demo just drop a comment in, or question in the, uh, in the post and we'll be happy to answer them. All right, thanks for watching.